she doing there? Caught a freaking tank spot. Seven five five boys, to the face. tough fishery. This place is uh, by no means easy. Um, I think getting five a day will still be very difficult um, and size will also be difficult. So I'm excited to see how this one shakes out. Can't wait to run the uh, Trident Gear 20 all over the place. See if we can put some together. Hopefully we can have a little better tournament than we did on Sam Raver. Um, but yeah, we're going to go get after it. Hopefully we have a good day one. Good morning, boys and girls. We're here on uh, West Point Lake, LaGrange, Georgia, for stop number two of the Tackle Warehouse Invitationals. Um, it's a tough fishery. Today's gonna rain. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be blowing all day long. Definitely not gonna be the best fishing conditions and definitely not the best lake to have bad fishing conditions on. So it's probably gonna be a tough day. We're gonna try and grind it out. Hopefully we can put something together by the end of the day and uh, bring some decent fish to the land. We shall see. I think it's going to be a short largemouth. Oh, he might make it. Buddy boy might make it. I think he's going to make it. You better. I got him 14 inches. First stop of the day on the spinnerbait. Buddy went thunk. That was pretty solid. And I think he'll make it. Oh, yeah. 16 incher boys. 16 incher. How about it? How freaking about it? Oh, that takes the nerves off. Cool. That's the biggest one I've caught on the lead. Oh my gosh. Caught it when I. Did it when I dropped that freaking spin bait. <laughs> it's three plus. It's a three plus all day long. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yep, yep. That was gnarly. Both of them. Power rods. 755 boys to the face. Let's see what we got. That's going three, probably three and a half. All day long. Come on, big girl. Three and a half. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Lock that in, boys. Lock that in. Three and a half. <laughs> Open the hook up. <laughs> Golly. Come on. Good morning. Good chance. Good chance a minute ago, buddy. Thank you, sir. Where are you from? Texas. Florida. Florida. Florida boy. That's a spot. Go 12 inches and keep. Spotted dog. Little pound and quarter spot. 
keep her deep, baby. Almost pound and a half. Nice. It's going a lot better than expected. It's only 7.45, we got three in the well. You gotta be kidding me. Didn't break me off, she just took it. So we got a scale on there, it's not good. We are biting, biting. It's crazy, <laughs> it's insane. Old spotted dog should measure. He ain't big, but he ought to measure. One, one. So he gives us eight pounds. That's now our smallest fish. I'm going to take a second to show you what I got going on. got this little spinner bait. It's a Z-Man sling blade. I swapped the what's supposed to be the secondary blade or the bigger blade out for a smaller like three and a, three three and a half blade um so it gets down a little deeper and i'm putting a these are killer on the back of these little things it's a it's a baby uh baby shad by bass assassin i've been using this recently and it works good it's got a really good profile that or like a zoom uh, super fluke junior or super baby super fluke or whatever it is that's a pretty good one too but uh Man, this one has a lot of tail quiver with the with the little old straight tail it has. And just the, the density of this plastic is, is phenomenal. It uh it's really it's a really good trailer on these spinner baits. It's very small, not big. Th throwing uh, man, it's got a beautiful presentation in the water and they're biting it. That is a bass. Oh gosh. Don't break my spinner bait. And come in the boat. Real quick, wait. Oh, you're going in the boat. Eat it, boy! Spinner bait came out. That's definitely my second biggest now. <laughs> two and a half, two and three quarters. Large mouth on the spinner bait. That'll give us probably about 11 pounds. Just donk. Sent that thing to the shadow realm when he bit it. Just need five like that. Yep. Two, a little over two and a half. 11 pounds, right on 11, 10, 10. Nice. Nine o'clock, got a limit. Nice. Oh boy's going cool. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. I think he's gonna get rid of that like one one or whatever it is. One five. We'll take that call all day. The camera wanted to stop working, but I just caught a freaking tank spot on scope. <sighs> I missed a bite. I was looking at empty target on these fish. Brought this over him. He rocketed up off the bottom trying to get it. I dropped it back down. He ate it on the way to the bottom and just took off. And my line just went tight to set the hook. Tankaholic. Hooked real good too. Not coming off. Nearly a three pound spotted dog. Get rid of the rat first. <laughs> gotcha. Nice. Here we go with Ben McCann from Florida, Bradenton, uh, Bradenton, Florida. Am I saying that right? Good deal. Five fish today. Well done, man. You're going to be right in the hunt. 12 pounds and 7 ounces. A top 30 right now. 31st place. 
12-7 from Mr. McCann. Well done. Hold him up for the crowd. He's got a good-looking spot there. Got his family here as well, mom and dad. Well, you always, I always hesitate. Sometimes I say girlfriend, and it's a sister. Or sometimes I say girlfriend, and it's something else. So it's girlfriend this time. Come on over here, man. Let's talk about good day today. Your dad helped you with the get your bubble scales going this morning. It's good, like, good to see a support group over here. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy anytime they're able to come to any of the events that uh, you guys host. Uh, yes, it's a long drive for them. For sure, coming from Florida, yeah. uh, and you know it's definitely not our type of weather. We're freezing yeah, out no here. But yeah, it was a pretty good day. Started out real, real quick. Um, first couple things I pulled up to actually like fifth cast. I caught a good one, one of the ones that was in my limit. And yeah. then uh, in the first hour, I'd caught that one that was almost four and a couple others. So good deal. We'll go yeah. get them tomorrow, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you all for coming, guys. Appreciate you, Mark Fish. Hey, okay. I got video. Decent day one. A little over uh, twelve and a half. Freezing her butts off. Gotta go do it again tomorrow. What's going on, guys? We're waiting in line to put in here for day two. Day one went pretty well. Cut those fish off uh, mainly just lay downs. Um, I just seeing guys weigh in, you know, four plus pound largemouth. I haven't bumped into a fish like that so far. So my brain tells me there's got to be some fish like dirt shallow there's got to be some like up around docks real real skinny and things like that so i'm thinking i'm gonna check some lay downs like i did uh day one and uh i don't know that didn't really work out after about 12 o'clock they just stopped showing up i don't know if they were picked over so much they just wasn't happening or what but um i couldn't i couldn't get it going so what I'm gonna try and do is probably run a bunch of laydowns real quick, some of the better ones that I felt like I had, and uh, hopefully they're set up there. Um, if not, I guess I'll just start jumping around real shallow, check that. I'll also check uh, some more points and stuff. And hopefully we can make something happen. Uh, I'm right on that brink to where if I weigh another good bag, I'll make it to the, to the final day and I'll catch a check. Um, if I weigh a crappy bag, I'll probably miss, miss out on being in the money altogether. I'm currently like 20 spots up from the last spot out, which was like an 11 pound bag. And uh, weighing 11 pounds, honestly, on this place is not easy. So we'll see if I can get another 11 pound bag, I'll probably catch a check, but won't make it the final day. If I can catch 12 or better, I'll uh, like 12, 12 and a half or better, I'll definitely catch a check and I'll probably make it to the final day. So we just gotta see one four pound kicker, large mouth and a couple two pounders changes things all together. So, we're gonna do our best. Hopefully we can make something happen and uh, excited to get after it, at least. Good day one. <laughs> GoPro didn't want to work. So we just fixed it. Now we're cruising, boy. We're cruising. We're cruising. Oh, we're cruising. A little tournament takeoff. A little, a little tournament takeoff. I accidentally shut the graph off too. Let's load the charts up. catch when you get a raw boat like that. It's so much fun. Always my favorite part of the day. Gotta get this thing sorted out, stick it on the console. Try and catch a bass. Seven two five on the freaking Spro rock call. That's about a three. Two and three quarter, three. A little bit of luck don't hurt nobody, huh? 
literally have not caught a bass back here in my life. I said, we'll give it a go. It's, far, it's deeper into this pocket from where I caught a bunch of good largemouth the other day. That is one of the bites we need. Yep, nearly three. I need you. Ain't much, but he will help the cause. <laughs> All spotty boy will help. Oh gosh. What is smoke that? Sir, thank you. Thank you for that bite. Got a lot of bass back here. Buddy, just bonk. Nice, nice. One and three quarter, two pound large mouth. That's what we were looking for. A couple of these guys. Nice. Tyler, back up. Oh, there you go. Good deal. Give a can. Come on up here, young man. He's got his mom and dad and family, girlfriend all here. He's got 12.7 uh, from yesterday. Today's weight's 10.8. He's going to be at 22 pounds and 15 ounces. There's going to be a lot of 22s, Ben. A lot of 22s. This is going to be a tight race, folks. Just to explain what's going on today, we're going to pay 31 through 50. 50th place is taken away. $8,000. $8,000 is going to 50th place. We're going to pay out tomorrow up to $115,000. Up to $115,000. You'd have, like to have a shot at that. Big money there. But, man, you're doing a good job as a rookie out here. Doing a great job. Yeah, definitely learning a lot. I actually sure. caught every fish today completely different than I caught them yesterday. I caught them yesterday using my eyes like yep. I like to do. I'm a Florida guy. Okay. So I fish shallow, fish around a bunch of laydowns, and then today I was act, uh, using active target and scoping around with gotcha, a... Gotcha, uh, gotcha. Adjusting. Yeah, adjusting yeah. for sure. Good deal. Um, if I could, I'd just give a big thanks to uh, Jenner Propeller. They've helped me set up my rig for this year. I'm getting better numbers out of it than I've ever got before. And, uh, yeah, they're my title sponsor. So Thank you, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. What's going on, guys? Ben McCann here. Just finished up day two um, of the Tackle Warehouse Invitational here on uh, West Point Lake in LaGrange, Georgia. Um, no complaints. I'm not going to complain. Uh, fish clean. Had a decent tournament. Cash and check. First uh, Pro Series check I've ever cashed. Uh, Eight thousand dollar check. That's first. I think we got like forty seven out of like one hundred fifty some guys. Um, I'm gonna show you the couple of techniques I used today and, and kind of tell you what I was doing. So the last day of practice, I started targeting like brush piles about midway or not brush piles. Um, actual lay downs on the shoreline in, in like the last half of my day and I actually caught a couple spots keeper spots real quick and a couple largemouth and so like one or two largemouth or something so I was like hmm, there's something to that I ran the entirety of the lake um, literally the whole lake all the shorelines found every lay down that was significant and in the water because the water was fairly low and uh, I planned to just run as much of that as I could um, it kind of ended up developing into a little different pattern come day two but uh, day one, that's what I did. I just threw a spinner bait on laydowns, um, spinner bait, little creature bait, things like that. And then day two, I ended up um, having to swap that um, a little bit. I was targeting the very ends of the laydowns, um, targeting the break off of the laydown, just the sand. A lot of those fish wouldn't actually be set up on the laydown, they'd just be randomly around it. So I started to um, catch a fish on active target, eat and eat everything. But, um, so I guess the bread and butter, what I was intending to catch all my fish on and uh, ended up catching a lot of good fish on, especially my biggest fish of the week, was this um, Z-Man Sling Blades half ounce spinnerbait in white. Um, as you can see, it's been chewed up pretty good and it's been pumped on a lot of stuff. Um, I did customize this bait a little bit. Um, I threw it on a Power Rod 755. 
That is a absolutely phenomenal chatterbait rod, spinnerbait rod. Um, you can even throw traps on it, uh, square bills, things like that, like a big square bill, like a, a, one of those hybrid hunters from striking, something like that. All, all are handled beautifully by the Rod 755. Um, that was a spinnerbait I was throwing. I wanted it to have fairly small blades. I didn't want it to have a ton of thump. I wanted it to be to a degree sort of more on the uh, finesse side, um, just because this place was getting a lot of pressure by a lot of really good angles. Um, couple little things I did to this is I actually tied the front of the spinnerbait with braid to prevent that from opening up and snapping. So that's why I uh, was comfortable enough boat flipping some of those fish and things like that. It helps uh, with durability. So I braid tied the front of the swim bait and uh, I also just chopped the skirt down. I swapped this blade to uh, a half ounce comes with, I think like a four or four and a half size blade. I went with a three and a half size blade, um, a little smaller than what's actually on the half ounce. So I could run a little deeper, um, fish a little faster if I wanted to, or also slow roll it and have it get deep. Um, but I was fishing that over any of those lay downs, uh, any tight spots uh, around rock edges, little sides of docks, anything like that. Um, especially when the wind was blowing and day one when it was raining, that was what I was really checking there. Um, I got a Daiwa Tatula Elite 7 to 1 on there um, and Seaguar uh, 20 pound red label killer setup. So that was, that was what I kind of did the damage on. Um, it's caught the second biggest fish of the tournament for me. Um, just a Spro rock collar. Uh, rock crawler in this like red color just of, like a fire craw color um 12 pound cigar red label fluorocarbon um daiwa tatula sv seven to one um and a power rod 725 it's a killer like square bow rod um, medium depth crank baits traps you can even throw like a bigger jerk bait on it um awesome rod didn't lose any fish this week at all um and it, it was great i just used this going in between lay downs um, just bombing it as far as I could just to cover water and have something actually stay on the bottom, but I can still move it fast. So I was fishing that, caught a good fish, two good fish on that today that held my bag. Um, and that was sort of my second approach as to what I was doing, going from lay down to lay down if there was a little, enough of a distance where I wasn't gonna get on pad and go. But, it, and, you know, I didn't want to pull the drone motor out, but I still wanted to, you know, fish. So it's kind of what I did there. Um, another thing I caught a couple fish on, couple actually my second biggest on uh, day one was a missile base baby destroyer um, this is actually a lighter weight than I had on it I had a 3 8 on it um, in that super bug color it's like a black and green pumpkin color a uh, little 3 aught uh, Gamagatsu EWG Superline hook um, pegged this happened to be a quarter but what I was mainly fishing before I broke it off was a 3 8 um, so I could get it down on the ends of brush piles. I could flip it a little easier. I could bomb it a lot farther. Um, when I couldn't get fish originally to go ahead and bite that spinnerbait, I was throwing that day one. And I caught a couple fish on that, and I also caught a really nice spot on that that I saw and I started to pitch over to it. Um, that rod is a Power Rod 765. It's killer for any Texas rig. It's killer for Carolina rigs. Um, it's got a bunch of different applications. You can throw anything from a scrounger head. It's a, essentially an all-purpose rod, um, and it works great with, like, everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, Daiwa Tattoo Elite 8 to 1, 20-pound cigar, red label on there. Um, yeah, pretty straight up. Simple, simple uh, combo. That's, that, that is a really good creature bait if you ever need to throw something somewhere and you're really uh you know hanging on trying to get a bite real bad that uh that does a great job for decent bites um the four setup i used and which was pretty much the big player of today which i wasn't planning on it being but salvaged my day and helped me catch a check was a power rods um seven three two this is a little spinning rod setup um i caught a seven pound smallmouth on this uh this rod throwing a drop shot it's great for drop shots it's great for shaky heads it's great for all sorts of light line techniques um i actually started throwing this little nico rig today a little weedless hook and i'm throwing a weedless hook so i could uh actually cast it in a brush brush pile or a lay down or something like that um fish it through there and not worry about the uh the finesse presentation getting hung up wherever I was casting it. So I was fishing that, had a robo worm, also in like that super bug color. That color for some reason was getting bit really good, that like black and blue and like green pumpkin color. Um, 
just a little, um, I think a mushroom head is what it's called, by Z-Man in it. Um, sort of Gamagatsu, sort of like a cover wacky hook there. Um, 12 pound leader, or actually my bad, 10 pound Seaguar Red Label leader to 10 pound um, Seaguar Tactex Parade. Um, yeah, it worked great. I was fishing at, a, I started, you know, finding fish that were off of the laydowns um, on the shoreline and then would just come kind of swim over to the boat, just cruise around. And I started catching a lot of those fish on that, but that was killer. Um, I got a lot of bites on that that I wouldn't have got if I kept filling up spinnerbait when it got hot and sunny today. Um, so that kind of saved my day, but that's kind of what I did. That's how I got your check here on West Point. Very interesting fishery, very tough for me. Um, very different than the things I'm used to doing, but Worked out, catch check. Thanks for watching.